How are you doing? Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> my stove fetish is still going. Um, I have a lot of stoves, preferably alcohol stoves. Um, and the sad thing about it is this isn't even all of them. I've actually more over there. But what I did is I took a selection of stoves based on the weight and the material that they're made of and the different designs really, but I wanted to get an overall test to see what is the most fuel efficient for when you're on the trail. I wanted to do this, I, I, it was always a question I had in my head for a long time, so I said I might as well make a video for it. See, like there's so many variables involved, like the likes of this, right? This is the, um, the Lexeda, uh, that's 29 grams and it's made of aluminium. This is the Tringia, and the Tringia is 112 grams. There's a crazy difference between the weight of them. And even at that, the X-Boil, which is eight grams versus 112 grams, like that's ridiculous. But it's not all about the weight. It's all about how fuel efficient they are and how fast they are at boiling and how fast they are at priming. So let me explain. I did a series of tests and I'll explain how I did it and how I, I suppose my thought process about doing it. Okay, first of all, um, I timed how long they took to prime. So priming an alcohol stove, it's basically heat before heat. So it's the length of time it takes for your stove and your um, alcohol inside to heat to the required operational temperature. That means it'll function its best when it's at this temperature. And you'll see here, all the actual jet holes, they vary. They vary on every stove. Every stove is a slight bit different. You'll see here. So when it's primed properly, you'll see the flames going nicely through those jets. So I always, thought how long will it take to prime is probably all the same but by god i was wrong like some of them took way longer than others so what i did a test got to do with priming i got a test got to do with if each of these stoves had 30 milliliters of fuel in them how long would they take to burn out so what i did is i have the x boil which is the X-Boil 30 milliliter pot or cup or bottle, whatever you call it. So I filled each one of them and I lit them all and I timed how long and how fuel efficient they are. But fuel efficiency doesn't mean that they're the best one because here it goes into all the variables again. One, it takes how long does it take to prime to get to operational temperature and how long it lasts, but how long it takes to boil water. <laughs> so I know there's a lot of variables what we're doing. So what I did, they say you need to get your, your pot an inch above where your flame starts from. The reason why they say that is you get the most heat out of a flame an inch above, plus it offers a reflection of the heat back down into the stove. And to do that, the, it was hard to do because like each of them are a different size. Look, that's lower than that. Like that is way lower than that. So what I did is you have these and this is a stand that goes on your pot. And then I have a BRS heat exchange attachment. I was able to put that here and I was able to put that on top. So that means that no matter what happens, the, f the, the pot is the exact same height all the way around. I absolutely 100% understand that, that that's gonna be higher than where the flame is coming from. It won't be the one inch that they say, but this, this is a heat exchange, so it works that way. But this was the only way that I could see I was able to get the exact same height for all of them. So that's what I did. So before we actually do the tests, 
I want to show you the stoves that I have here. Just, I'll quickly go through them. So this is the Tringia, the creme de la creme <laughs> of, of stoves. So this is um, 112 grams with no fuel in it, obviously. And when you take the lid and you take the, the cover off, um, it weighs 67 grams. So just the actual burner itself. Now this is the knockoff brand. This is something I always was interested in because you can get this for 17 euro or, or ish around that. And you can buy that for like 2.99, 3.99. And I was always thinking, why would you pay that much for this, Tringia, when you can get a knockoff? But there is a difference. I'll show you, I'll tell you about them. This weighs 110 and then around the 60, 60 mark anyway without the lid and the thing. So then we come on to Boundless Voyage, which create very, very good titanium products, whether it's cups or something like that. So I have two Boundless Voyage um, stoves here. This is a titanium. Um, I love the, the flame pattern in that. And then this is a lower titanium. So I really like that one as well. So this weighs 43 grams and this weighs 41 grams without the lid but with the lid it's 56 so they're still very light like they're half the weight of the Tringia. Then you have a stainless steel stove it's quite wide and it's low and it has these very handy handles on the side of it. This weighs 74 grams so there's this. Then we come on to the Lexada. This weighs 29 grams. <laughs> Unbelievable. 23 on its own, 29 with the lid. That is so light. But then speaking of ultra light, is the X-Boil. And this X-Boil uses a total different uh, kind of flame. It has this graphite sponge in the inside so it doesn't leak out. Okay. Let's get testing. Okay, so the first test we're doing is the flame priming and how long it takes to prime. So you have the X-Boil that goes first, then you have the Tringia that's second. Then you have the Boundless Voyage, uh, the low titanium stove that goes third. After that, you have the knockoff Tringia, which is the S-Pit or the S-Bite stove. Then after that, you have the stainless steel um, stove, then the boundless voyage high titanium stove, and then after that, the last but not least, you have the alcohol stove. So let's pause it there. So as you can see there, how long it, it takes a stove to prime, and there is massive differences there. Okay, so first of all, you have the X-Boil. Like that doesn't need priming. It, it, it actually lights straight away, and, and you have a good flame straight away. So there's a massive bonus with that. The Tringia is it primed in 10 seconds. It was going through the jet flames, so it just shows the build quality of that. But then, as I explained earlier on, like you wouldn't just go for the lightest one because it's the lightest one. Like that's 29 grams versus 112. That took six minutes and 20 seconds to prime. Like that is an ocean of time if you're on the mountain, you know? And then the fuel. That, that it uses in that time. But that all comes down to um, the material it uses. It's very, very uh, thin aluminium. So that wouldn't hold its heat longer than the likes of the actual metal in that. And it's the same with uh, the titanium stoves. The titanium stoves will lose heat a lot faster than the likes of your steel. But then on top of that, you have your weight difference. So as you can see by the results there, uh, that's how long it takes to prime them. And what I did in the very end is when I have them timed for how much they boil, um, I added the prime time to the boil time to get an overall time. So next up, we have the burn time. So I did 30 milliliters of fuel from this X-Boil 30 milliliter bottle in each of them. And I'd say, by the time I lit them all, there was about a second in between. So what I did is I minus the second off each one of them. So just to be on the safe side, but it didn't make much of a difference. So let me show you what the times were for 30 milliliters of fuel and how long it took to fully boil out. So we'll start the burn time with 30 milliliters of fuel. So the first uh, to go out was the low, the boundless voyage titanium. 
The second to go out was the Tringia, the third was the Knockoff, the fourth was the Boundless Voyage High Titanium Stove. Um, then it was the Stainless Steel, and then number six, which was the Aluminium one, and then 24 minutes and 50 seconds was the X-Boil. So the first to go out was this, but this actually burns the, 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 the hottest which I noticed was a big, big flame off that. But the one that lasted the longest was the X-Boil, which was over 24 minutes on the same amount of fuel. That's unbelievable. So very, very fuel efficient, the X-Boil is. So yeah, I was pretty impressed by that. But then it comes all the way down to how long it takes to boil water. It's not all about how, like one that could last a long time might be very hot compared to one that doesn't. Because I know, like this titanium stove, it burns really hot because it releases a lot of flame. So it burns fuel faster. So the only way to test that is by burning up water. So I went with 200 milliliters of water in my jet boil. So it's that the jet boil uses the um, heat exchange, which is incredible, but I used the very same setup for all of them and at the same height using this. So let's get testing these. So I started off using the Tringia. This is the setup. So the boil time is five minutes and then the boil plus prime time is five minutes and 12 seconds. So 200 milliliters of water, five minutes and 12 seconds and that's adding the prime time onto it as well. So that is a very good boil time for this. I was, I was delighted with this. I knew it would perform anyway because it's the main Tringia, the ones that you get. But yeah, I was really happy that this performed. I really, really was. So then we come to the S-Bite, the knockoff. Let's just see how this performs. So the boil time was six minutes and 30 seconds and adding the prime time, that's eight minutes and 80 seconds. So there is a significant difference from the prime time of this and the boil time is very different to the real one even though you can get that a lot cheaper they're roughly the same weight but there is a difference with fuel efficiency so yeah that was a good test i like that okay next up we have the boundless voyage low titanium this burns really hot um so the boil time is five minutes and 40 seconds and plus the prime which is six minutes and six seconds so i really like that stove it's really light and it's nice and low so you can get uh, a good flame underneath um, it's not raising up as high I really do like that stove so yeah so next up we have the boundless voyage the high titanium stove so this is five minutes and 30 seconds and then a full prime time of eight minutes and eight seconds again another light stove it's a uh, very very well built it has no lid in it which is there's not much you can do with that but there's no lids to actually quench it and there's no way to store you actually have to leave it burn out you which you have to do for this also and nearly all the rest of them it's only these two that you're able to store fuel inside in them because they have a, um, a rubber around the top of them okay so that's that done okay what's the next one you have the stainless steel stove so let's just see how this performs this was six minutes and seven seconds but a prime and boil time of nine minutes and two seconds. Yeah, I this was okay. It's just, I don't really like it. <laughs> it holds a lot of fuel though, I will say that. Okay, let's get on to the next one. This was the aluminium stove. So this was a very light, so six minutes, but prime and boil time was 13 minutes and five seconds. That all comes down to the material it is because it doesn't hold its heat enough but my God, like the boil time was nearly the same as the prime time. So that's very unfuel efficient, if that's a word. It is now, it's my word. But it's not very fuel efficient, we'll say. Um, it is very light though, so if you're going ultra light, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's not one I will be using. Okay, but last but not least, we have the X-Boil. So this primes nearly straight away, 
So this has 6 minutes and 5 seconds and I added 2 seconds onto it, so 6 minutes and 7 seconds. So that's the X-Boil. It's such a light stove, but it's very, very fuel efficient. I do really like that. So, and it doesn't do too bad either with the um, how fast it takes to heat up 200 milliliters of water. So, that is the test and it all comes down to your surroundings um the atmosphere the temperature so at the end of the day like if you were in the middle of winter and you were scooping water out of a stream that was nearly at zero degrees it's going to take a lot longer to boil your water because it's a lot colder but this is going to total change if it's in the middle of summer and you're pouring water out of one of your bottles uh, that's been in your bag all day so it all got to do with your surroundings and the temperature on the day but I did all these tests with the same water at the same time okay so the stove the number one stove let's eliminate some of them so for me that's gone that's gone it's good but it's not a tringia I like good quality so I'm getting rid of that the stainless steel one I'm getting rid of that so it all comes down to these. Okay, I love the flame pattern on this one and it's nice and light, but there's no way of quenching it. But secondly, it took a long time to prime as well. So I really like this, but I'm gonna eliminate this one. Okay, then we come down to three. I'm not gonna pick one overall one that I'm gonna use all the time because it all depends on my setup. So, but for my setup, these are the three that I'm going to be using all the time for different reasons, right? One, so the Tringia, the build quality of the Tringia is unbelievable. Plus, you can store fuel in this. You don't have to leave it burn out. So that's a massive plus for the Tringia. Yeah, that's an unbelievable setup. So I think Tringia all the way for me. I really love that. Next up is the titanium stove. So this is the Boundless Voyage. This burns really fast. Um, but it burns out really fast as well. If I require a lower stove to suit my setup, to get the actual maximum height away from the flame, I will be using this. Um, I wouldn't use this for multi days because it burns fuel very fast, but it's one that I will be using a lot, uh, which I really love. And then we come down to the unbelievably light, 11 grams, eight grams. <laughs> Now this is the ultralight version of the X-Boil and I love this stove. It is so, so cool and it's ridiculously light. I love the fact that you have the, um, the graphite sponge in the inside. So even if you have fuel in it, if you tipped it this way, it won't, it won't fall out. So in terms of safety wise, it is brilliant. But yeah, they're my three stoves that I'm sticking with. I can't pick an overall one. Uh, let me know what you think. And let me know what kind of stove you would have went for. And um, you might be totally different to me. So you have the Tringia, the Boundless Voyage, low titanium stove, and the X-Boil. Yeah, sorry, this was a very geeky video, but I really, really enjoyed making it. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what stove setup that you would like to see. Um, I am going to do a few more test setups that are always going to lead to my number one lightweight alcohol uh, stove setup which uh, yeah I'm nearly there with that video so um, stay tuned okay happy days <laughs> I'm, I'm geeked out today <laughs> all right have a good one and uh, we'll talk to you in the next one bye